When you send a prompt to Klein like add a new login page to this site, you might be wondering how is Klein able to carry out this task? Klein's system prompt contains a list of tools that LLMs can call. For example, similar to how backend applications give API endpoints to the frontend applications, Klein gives API endpoints to the LLM to call, which in this case, the API endpoints are drafted in what's called a system prompt. This system prompt outlines rules of engagements for the LLM to know how to actually interact with Klein to modify your code base. The tool section of the system prompt takes up the largest portion of the space. Some notable tools that exist in this are file operations, which are like write to file, read file, replace and file, search files and list files, terminal operations like execute command and list code definition names, and other ones like MCP tools, browser tools, and more. Each tool entry in the system prompt includes a tool's description and when and how the tool should be used by the LLM. So going back to the earlier prompt that said, add a new login page to this site, in order for the LLM LLM to fulfill this requirement, the system prompt serves as a means for the LLMs to autonomously explore and change code within your workspace by ordering client to perform all the tools that are available directly in the system prompt. So the first thing the LLM does is gather relevant details to understand what you mean by this site. So it uses tools that are listed in the file operations to discover which files already exist in your code base. It starts by calling the read file tool to read the contents of the file that you have opened. After reviewing the code, the LLM determines that it needs to learn more about the related files and the dependencies to understand how best to actually write the login page. So the LLM proceeds with more tool calls like search files and read files to essentially load relevant context it thinks that it needs. This entire operation is called agentic exploration. Agentic exploration is a fully automated approach where instead of expecting the user and external services to provide the right context, the agent freely explores your code base on its own to gather necessary information, in this case, information about the site to write proper login page logic. Once this agentic exploration step is done, the LLM continues its tool calls but this time calls write to file to start making changes in your code base. Some of these changes might include creating new files for the login page, while others might update existing files in your code base by only changing specific sections of your existing code. This type of operation where updates only happen in a targeted manner is called a diff edit. A diff edit applies changes to your code base by comparing it with the incoming modification rather than rewriting the entire file, which can be costly, especially for larger files. So after the agentic exploration, and the diff edits are applied, client goes a step further to make sure that the entire project can now compile and build without any issues. So we know that the system prompt grants the LLM the ability to run terminal commands by using the execute command tool. This command allows client to run commands like npm run build or npm run dev to verify that the project still functions correctly after the changes have been made. The LLM then checks the terminal output to confirm that the build completes without any errors. So now that the agentic exploration, diff edits, and the build checks are done, client may use its built-in browser tools to load the site and check for runtime and UX issues. Just like the previous steps that we've seen, browser tools are also outlined directly in the system prompt. This step essentially acts as a form of quality assurance to make sure that the changes made didn't break functional requirements within your code base. While there are so many other tools that are worth mentioning, it's important to recognize the power of system prompt that orchestrates this entire operation between client and the LLM. And even features like MCP servers are defined in the system prompt, just like any other tools that we've covered so far. In other words, MCPs are listed exactly like other tools that we've seen in the system prompt. The system prompt provides mechanisms that enable agentic exploration, diff edits, terminal commands, browser usage, and MCP, and so much more, and all of which are essential for executing different types of prompt requests that client receives. Even a seemingly simple command like add a new login page to the site requires many steps to load the correct context, write the correct code, and placing the right files in the right place, and making sure that the project build runs, and all of which are guided by the system prompt.